Yeah, yeah. Um, I think anything, anytime you have an opportunity to communicate in front of others, you want to be remembered. You want there to be a residual effect. Mm -hmm. um, you're most impressive in front of the podium, not behind it. You're hidden behind the podium. Mm -hmm. You're most impressive with folks hearing your voice in a direct fashion with their ears. Mm -hmm. So if you're not in a large hall or a large room, um, lower the vo uh, raise the volume and, and uh, lose the microphone. Mm -hmm. um, I believe in direct eye contact, mm -hmm. trying to connect to each part of the room preferably with what you've learned about the room and the players in the room mm -hmm. and or what you know about the people in the group you're talking to. But create an impression that's going to linger. Um, I know my impressions linger because I get emails or calls or people come up to me and tell me that certain things that they hung on in my presentation mm -hmm. um, had a residual effect with them. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'd say is I really believe that when you're pu doing public speaking, there are two effects. There's the placency effect and the recency effect. Mm -hmm. The placency effect is the first impression you'll make. Mm -hmm. And folks may hang on that and not hear another word that you said. Or the recency effect of what you closed with and the last thing that you said. Mm -hmm. Well, if you know these two effects are at play any time you're speaking, always be ready to start strong and finish strong, no matter where the content takes you in the middle.